What is going on YouTube? Welcome to another video. So today then we're going to be talking about whether you should be using Instagram influencers or Facebook ads. Now, depending on the kind of product you've chosen, then it may be better suited for one or the other. So today I'm just going to take you through the criteria of a good Instagram product and a good Facebook product. As always then, if you're still not quite sure about anything by the end of the video, feel free to reach out in the comment section down below or all my social media links are in the video description. Another thing I want to start doing then is in the intros like this then, um, I'm going to start answering a question from the previous video. So today's question comes from Supreme Ganza who asks, could you hit me up? Um, I'm interested in coaching lessons. Now, as far as coaching or paid mentorship or any sort of paid course, um, I don't offer any paid services whatsoever. Everything I do then is 100% free. So the YouTube channel, any kind of social media content um, and the free ebooks as well in the video descriptions, uh, everything is 100% free essentially. Now that being said then, feel free to reach out on social media, contact me, get in touch whatever way you want um, and ask me whatever you want as well, whether it's dropship and lay, whatever it is, um, I'm more than happy then to answer your guys' questions and help you on a one-to-one -one basis. I do get back to every single person. So that being said then guys, thank you for tuning in and let's get into the video. What is going on then guys? Welcome to my computer. So Instagram or Facebook then, which one should you be using? Now, what I like to do then when I'm doing my product research, when I come across a particular item that I like the look of and I want to give it a go, I always ask myself then, would somebody buy this because of the, because of the brand that it's got on it or because of the label that it's going to have on it? And if they do then, then it's always down Instagram. And for everything else then, um, I'm always gonna start with Facebook. And the reason being for this then is because the best social proof that you will ever get for your product then is somebody wearing it or somebody endorsing it that people follow. So for brand heavy items then, or kind of like general items, things like watches, uh, fitness things, anything kind of clothing or fashion related, I'm always going to start with Instagram influencers. And it's like I said, the best endorsement or social proof you'll get for your product is somebody wearing it. So I was trying to come up with a way of kind of showing you guys and without just talking to, I like showing you examples of how things work. So... Um, I started thinking about my girlfriend and sort of things that she buys, especially the fashionable items that won't sell very well on Facebook. Um, and she loves Mulberry handbags. And as you can see then, they're just ridiculously expensive. I don't even know why she likes them, but there you go. It's obviously something to do with the brand and the fact that it has that Mulberry logo on them. And then if you just, you simply have to go onto AliExpress. So if I put in um, leather, leather handbags, the mic's in front of my uh, keyboard. So leather handbags then. Let's just have a quick look what that comes up. Um, we'll just go for the, the typical black, black one. And then just scrolling through then. Now I know I'm no handbag expert, but to me, like these look pretty similar, especially this one. That could easily be a Mulberry handbag um, and I wouldn't have a clue. Now, the point I'm trying to illustrate here is that you could take any one of these bags then, put it on Facebook, um, especially as a beginner with a new a new company, a new brand, put it on Facebook and you won't sell a single one for a thousand pound. Like I'm pretty confident that no matter who you are, um, you're not gonna sell one for a thousand pound. Whereas if you put your own logo on it and then got say Kim Kardashian to feature it and endorse it and post it on her Instagram, then you could probably charge five grand for it and people are gonna buy it, even though it's only costing you £13.94. And that is the power then of social proof and Instagram influencers. And that is why then when you're trying to sell generalized products or products that people are only gonna buy because of the brand, then that is why you have to go down the Instagram route. To summarize then, if the product that you're advertising that you want to be a winner then, if somebody's gonna buy it because of the label it's got on it, then try and find an influencer on Instagram that's gonna endorse it. Even if they only have, say, up to 10,000 followers, then they won't have been approached by many people asking for paid ads. They might be quite flattered and they might even endorse it for free. If you don't have the budget then to pay them to, um, to essentially post it and endorse it, then you can send them one for free or offer them to become an affiliate of that product. Um, there's certain apps in the Shopify app store. I'm gonna do a video on it pretty soon. 
Um, but basically you can set up unique links, send that link to your um, affiliate, your Instagram influencer. They put that link in their bio or wherever they want to put it. And every time somebody buys through that link, then you get the sale, obviously, and then you just pay um, an agreed commission fee to that influencer. So essentially there's no upfront cost for you. They just endorse your product, start advertising it, um, and they get kicked back then for every sale, every customer they send through that Instagram profile. This is actually really extremely powerful method. And I haven't spoken about it much in videos because I'm not sure what to do with this whether to create some sort of series on it or put it in an ebook or what but basically what you do is you approach like anywhere between we're pretty much up to 100 influencers that have a maximum of 10k followers these are going to be the people then that won't have been approached much if at all and they're going to be flattered then that you've approached them and pretty much you have to go to them and say look I really love your profile I um, really think that you'll love this product send it to them for free or like I said offer them as an affiliate scheme if you can get a hundred um, influencers on board then that have 10,000 followers each you might not have to pay a single penny then to get them on board if they become an affiliate and all of a sudden then you've got a hundred times 10,000 I don't even know what the maths is but you've got that many people that are going to be seeing your product potentially so it's a huge huge massive really powerful method and strategy that I will talk about um, potentially in a video series like I said or an ebook I'm not quite sure um, let me know what you guys think actually do you want to know more information and more detail on that particular strategy um, so yeah to summarize Instagram influencers then if somebody's going to buy if you're selling a general product that people especially that people are only going to buy because of the brand it's got it you only have to say go to the gym look at anybody under the age of 30 and they're all wearing Nike and Adidas and Under Armour clothing or the majority of them are and that's purely 100% down to branding now the reason these types of products then don't really work on Facebook is because if you're trying to sell um, a fashionable item or a really even if it's a really nice watch if somebody clicks on your your shop page and you've only got say 10 likes or 100 likes you haven't got much content they can see that the page was only created recently you haven't got many followers etc then there's not much social proof there and people aren't going to buy into you they're going to be a bit wary of you and essentially they're not going to trust you as much Whereas when somebody, when an influencer posts about your product on their page, then it's instant social proof, regardless of who you are or where you're from. The fact that the person that they idolize and that they've been following is endorsing your product um, is just a green flag and it completely breaks down every single barrier. So moving on to Facebook then, I just wanna say, if you're still watching the video, then thank you very much. I really do appreciate the kind of true subscribers of this channel that watch the videos all the way through. If you find it, if you found any valuable so any value so far, please do leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I do release daily content on this sort of thing and pretty much anything dropshipping related. So please do make sure you hit that subscribe button. Moving on to Facebook then. So what kind of products work well on Facebook? And these are what I call passion products. And these are products then that are interest related. So they're related to certain objects, not objects, subjects, sorry, or interests that people are passionate about essentially. So things like dogs, fishing, sports, and they're not general items. So the way I like to look at it then is when I'm doing my product research, in fact, I'll show you guys. I've got a couple of examples. We'll start from the very beginning with the handbags. So I've come across these handbags that I really like and I want to sell now is this a product then that people are going to buy because of the brand and the label it's got on it yes they are so that makes that an Instagram product moving on to these pug socks then are people going to buy these because of the brand that they are no they're not um, the subject or what niche is this product in it's obviously the pug niche are people passionate about pugs yes they are is it an interest we can tag on Facebook yes it is so it's a Facebook product and then moving on to fishing equipment then are people passionate about fishing yes they are is it an interest that we can tag on Facebook yes it is so it's a Facebook product so hopefully that kind of makes sense and you kind of start to understand now my way of thinking when I'm doing product research and how I decide um, essentially where I'm going to start advertising a product um, I've said it a couple of times but any questions on this at all please do leave a comment down below or reach out on my social media links links are in the video description um, because it really can make the difference between whether a product succeeds or not so I want to make sure that you guys are crystal clear on this so that being said then guys there's not a lot more to say that pretty much wraps up the video hopefully you guys have got a better understanding now of where you should start with your products and if you are advertising a product then and it's not doing very well then hopefully 
hopefully again that might give you some ideas of why it's not and um, potentially moving across from Facebook to Instagram and vice versa so that being said then guys if you're still watching thank you very much I do appreciate the continued support and watching the video the full way through um, if you are still watching then put a comment down below I really want to know how many people actually watch these videos all the way through um, if you enjoyed the video and found any value whatsoever please do hit that like button if you haven't subscribed yet for daily videos on Instagram Facebook um, and anything dropshipping related then please do hit that sub button and that being said then guys thank you for tuning in thank you for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow